This Easter, skip the store-bought box and make Easter eggs the natural way. The end result is a sophisticated twist on a childhood favorite. Here, I'll show you how. We're gonna start by peeling five to six onions and placing the skins in a bowl. Now, I'm going to combine the onion skins with four cups of water in a medium saucepan and bring it to a boil. Strain the liquid into a bowl and discard the skins. Now, let the dye cool to room temperature. To make the dye last longer, add four tablespoons of fruit fresh produce protector. Give it a stir to help it dissolve. Next, I'll take a pair of stockings and place it over my hand, making sure that my fingers line up with the seam. Now, I'm going to place the herb face up on the palm of my hand and place the egg over the herb. Make a fist around the egg and remove the stockings from your hand. You should see the herb on the egg right here. Pull the stockings as tight as you can and then twist the egg to secure it. Now, use a rubber band to secure the twist. Once the rubber band is secure, you can cut off the remaining pantyhose. Now, place your egg into the dye and make sure it submerges completely. The egg needs to refrigerate for at least an hour. Turn the eggs occasionally to dye evenly. Remove the egg from the dye and blot off as much of the dye as possible before unwrapping the egg. Once your egg is dry, we're gonna cut off the pantyhose. And look, a beautiful, elegant, unique design that's gonna look so good on your Easter table. For more quick tips and test kitchen wisdom, check out Cooking Light.